you forgot to speak to your new assistant manager. Like that. <laughs> I think really for you, and especially you as one of the experienced yeah. players. Yeah, well, he's not shouted at me yet. He's not giving me the hairdryer yet. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'll get that at some point. But no, it's fantastic. Pleased for James. He's um, he's, he's obviously had a, a bit of a kind of up and down time over the last two or three years with the playing side of things. Um, I know he's been frustrated at that, uh, and I think this is you know gives him a great opportunity to. To um, you know, have an influence at the club, which you know, I, I think the managers obviously identified that he's he, that he can be. Um, he knows the club inside out, obviously. Great relationship with the fans, and he's played under some you know some great managers and uh, played at the top level. So I think he'll bring a lot to the to the role. Uh, I think him and the uh, the manager can can you know be a good combination for us and, and hopefully help us forward this season and beyond. Do you think that transition is going to be like going from one of the lads? To, you know, a figure of sort of responsibility. Is it? Yeah. Is it going to be difficult? Yeah, I'm, not, I'm sure it will be in some ways for him. You know, it's it's definitely a change. You probably need to remove himself slightly. Um, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm I'm hoping he'll still be make me a coffee or a cup of tea now and, uh, now and again. But no, it's it's obviously a different role for him. But he's he's uh, you know he's, he's strong enough, James, to to make that transition. I'm sure, and uh, I know it's something he's really looking forward to getting his getting his teeth into and. Uh, and you know, as his players were looking forward to working with him as well. So no, I think it's I think it's going to be good. And you know, for myself, from a player's point of view, as I said, we are just looking forward to this season ahead. And, and hopefully, James can you know be a big influence in that. I suppose that. in some senses, you want to have your assistant managers. It's all said that they're the, the link between yeah, of the, course. The, the dressing room and the manager. So having somebody who's been in there and knows the characters and knows how it works yeah. can be beneficial. Yeah, I think so. And, and as you, you know, he has been around the club for the last two or three years now, and he's. Um, um, uh, you know, he's he, he's even in the, over the summer he's been in. You know, he's he's seen what's been going on at the club in terms of new players coming in, so he knows them uh, very well already. Anyway, um, and you know, as I said, you know, a link you're looking for between the dressing room and, and you know the management and coaches, if you like. And I think James will be perfect for that. So, um, yeah, you know, you add that to the to the, his, his obvious knowledge of the game and the club. And as I said before, I think it's it's it's, it's going to be a good good combination. You see much. No, I mean obviously it was his first game with his Sterling game the other night. Um, you know we've not done too much training since that game really, so not yet, but that will come. And even the the experience of uh, of of taking the sessions, I'm sure, will something that will that will that will grow over time as well. Um, you know, as with anybody that, that, that would be coming in, so you know, I don't think that would be a problem. Um, you know, I think the manager sees, as I said, first and foremost, somebody that he can build a relationship with, and you know, have an overall good effect on the team and the club. Do you see this being a first long ladder to Fadi becoming a manager? Boy? Perhaps one day the line. Do you think that's something he's made? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, 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 I'm, I'm sure it, it may be. Um, I think uh, I'm sure he'll just be getting focused on this role at the moment and, and get his teeth into it and uh, I know he's, he, he will commit to it 100%, he's that sort of character that he will uh, you know, immerse himself in the role if you like um, so I think that will be so focused at the moment, I don't think he'll be getting too carried away with what might come in the future um, I think you know, even from this morning and, and getting getting organised and getting getting down there, I'm sure he's he's just fully focused on these games coming up. You know, it's a difference in them already in terms of you. You're talking you maybe a bit of a difference between you and the rest yeah. of the lads. No, I mean, no, not necessarily. I mean, it's only, it's happened very quickly. Um, you know, as I said, I'm sure naturally that will that will happen gradually over time, as it probably has to to a certain extent. But as you say, his role, part of his role, will to be that link between the dressing room and the and the and the manager, if you like. So. Um, you know, I don't think all of a sudden we're, we're not going to see him, uh, and he's he's going to detach himself, you know, far from it. But uh, you know, I think there will be a, a steady move to to the kind of coach's room, if if you like, and and uh, spend a little bit more time in there. It's now become a very meaningful game on Saturday. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, very meaningful game. I think um, I think as you see in a lot of the groups, not just ours, it's going to come down to, to, to Saturday's games, which is great. You know, I think the competition's been 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 good. Um, been a great change, and it's been it's been good to be involved in. So, from our point of view, going to Stranraer, we know what we need to do to have any chance of going through. We need to win the match. So, uh, I think that's hopefully going to be a good thing for us in terms of it's pretty clear in our mind. You know, I think sometimes when you go and you maybe you start to look at will I draw does or will this does. You know, we know we need to go there and win to have any chance of, to progress, and you know, hopefully that can work in our favour. We can go there in a good frame of mind and go and go and win the match against Rangers, and then again. 
he still wasn't choosing the night. There was a lot of chances missed and not taken, creating opportunities, creating not taking. Given the importance of Saturday, is that something that lesson needs to be learned quickly? <laughs> Yeah, it probably does. Um, you know, not just Saturday, but going forward. I think when you're on topping games, you need to be ruthless. You need to take your chances. Um, you know, you know, you're not going to take every chance, but certainly the ratio the other night wasn't wasn't high enough. Um, so, you know, when we do these uh, opportunities arise, as you say, especially in a game like Saturday, when we know we have to win, um, you know, we need to be prepared to take them and be ready to take them. Again, it's still early in the season. It's still these things that you're working on in training in terms of your finishing and and, and things like that, but. Uh, you know, so it will, it will gradually, hopefully, it, it, that ratio of converting your chances will rise as, as you go on into the season. But you know, come Saturday, you know, if three chances come up, then you know we'll be looking. We know we've got the players that can finish, and if we create as many chances as we did the other night, then you know we'll be delighted.